Your preference. There is no right answer. It all depends on whether you prioritize sleep, safety, mobility, or a means of swift escape. Today, we will go through each of your priority and why. Let's begin. Number 1. For getting a good sleep. If shut eye is your priority, book a window seat. These have the advantage for two reasons. Firstly, there's often more room between the seat and the side of the plane, creating a chance to lean your head. Second, you won't be disturbed when a neighbor needs a middle of the night pee or inadvertently nudged awake by an air steward or passenger passing down the aisle. Number 2. Pick your side. If you naturally sleep on one side at home, then book a window seat on that side of the plane. Number 3. For making a quick exit. Perhaps you've got a meeting to make, or there's only one train left tonight. Either way, getting off the flight first can save you 30 minutes once other passengers dawdling, customs queues, and terminal buses or trains are factored in. While some planes have rear exits, this can't be relied upon. So sit as near to the front as possible, in an aisle seat, and make sure your carry-on luggage stays in the compartment above. Number 4. To help your body. Other benefits of aisle seats include, the freedom to move, if you can't sleep. The chance to walk about, and therefore increase body circulation, and ready access to the lavatories. Number 5. To get extra legroom. Some economy seats afford additional legroom, the bulkhead seats located behind partitions, and often, exit row seats in front of an emergency exit. These have their downsides, mainly passengers cannot usually stow any luggage in front of you, as with other seats. Everything has to go in the overhead compartments. They don't always recline, and check the website Seat Guru for details of your particular plane. Number 6. For creature comforts. Seats close to a loo. The seat will suffer from heavy, noisy footfall and are prone to an unpleasant smell. Sensitive sleepers are also better off sitting up front, as noisy engines commonly situated below wings or towards the tail. Exit row seats and those near exit rows are sometimes chilly, as cold air seeps in. Number 7. For some alone time, Everyone loves having an empty seat next to them, better yet, an entire row to yourself. Know that planes are generally booked front to back, so if you're choosing a seat, the ones at the rear have the best chance of privacy. Equally, if you move to the window seat, in a rear row of three, where the aisle is already taken, the remaining space in the middle will only be sold if the plane is very full. As middle seats are regarded as the least desirable option, Number 8. Changing seats. Technically, you're not allowed to change seats before a plane takes off, so stewards can know for certain which passengers are on board. Nevertheless, plenty of people do so. Listen out for the stewards' intercom announcement that broadcast boarding is complete. That's when you know for sure that a seat or row is free. Number 9. If you're nervous. Fearful flyers are best off in seats between a plane's wings, these enjoy the most stability and thus the least turbulence. Number 10. For the safest seats. While there is no unanimous answer, the most popular conclusion of plane crash studies is that passengers in rear seats, particularly those in the middle of an aisle, have an increased chance of survival. Still, do bear in mind that if we're talking chances, you'd have to be incredibly unlucky in the first place. Humans' lifetime odds of dying in a plane crash are 1 in 8,000, or 0.0125%. This is your choice. Set your priority, this may be the answer when selecting seat in your future flight. Thank you for watching, please click and subscribe and comment below.